Uh, what's up everyone? This is Mr. Nice Guy. Fuck Trump because he's banning Muslim. Fuck Trump because he's building a wall. Fuck Trump because he's disrespecting women. Welcome to the fifth episode of TOTW. But today I'm gonna talk about something that is not only related to Taiwan, but I see this problem all around the world. So this episode could be called Truth on the World and TOTW will still make sense media. Our informations are so fast these days with news, blogs, social media, YouTube. We lost the abilities to think for ourselves and we don't care if the information is correct or true. We just want to follow it and be a part of something. To me, there's always two sides of things and we as individual need to think about what is right to best describe us as a person. I really hate touching politics simply because there's no right or wrong answer. It's just different ways of doing things. Today, I'm gonna use a person that is most talked about in the world right now. Our president, Donald J. Trump. People hate Trump because of his mouth, the way he acts, his skin color is orange, and his hair is obviously trying to cover up his bald spot. But are those really the reasons to hate him? To me, his words are very offensive, but at the same time, very true. Oh my god, I can feel people hating me already. I will use some example of him to prove that we're just following the media for no reason, or because we're too lazy to think for ourselves. Ban on Muslim. Obama did the same thing to Iraqis in 2011 for nearly 6 months. No, right? Why? Because the media didn't talk about it as much. Trump did not ban all Muslims. It shouldn't be called a Muslim ban. It's more like stop for a while so we can figure out who the terrorists are. And a while is 3 months or 90 days to 7 countries that supported or used to support terrorist organizations or have records of having actual jihad training camp. There are more than 40 other countries with Muslim made up as majority of their population that did not get banned. Why are people protesting at the airport? Yelling out let them in. Did we do the same thing when Obama banned Iraqis? No, because the media didn't see it as a hit. Now they see it as an opportunity for people to watch their show, promote their news and get more viewers so they can get more commercials. And people are dumb enough just to follow it and tell your friend Donald Trump is wrong and is banning all Muslims. If you really give a shit about Muslim population in the United States, you should donate money to organization that actually help the refugees over there. Protests won't change anything. It never changed anything. Except making yourself a greater target for terrorists to attack. Because you know how they love people bunch up together so they can do it at once. And the Great Wall of Mexico. Yes, that is a very stupid idea. The wall is straight up ridiculous, even to think about it. What we need to do is to deport all the illegal immigrants and shut down and punish the company that are hiring them. I'm an immigrant myself from Taiwan and I'm here legally with US citizenship. And I gave up my ROC citizenship because I didn't like it. And because of that, I am protected under American law. There is no reason to say that because they're here, so they can vote too. And it's stupid for Obama to not clear up when that Latino reporter said they call them citizens because they contribute in this country. So if they vote, will they be investigated and might get deported? If you don't know the clip, go search for Obama says illegals can vote without fear. If you're illegal, you shouldn't be here. Why some Americans think that is racist? There are Chinese illegal here. There are Koreans illegals here. Our Taiwanese students stay here with a past due student visa. Deport them. Deport all of them. By keeping them here, you're basically promoting wages that are under minimum wage. It's okay for American company to treat them as second class citizen legally. What you need to promote is for them to be here legally so they can enjoy the right like the rest of the Americans. Go on the street and say let them in because of love. It's not the right thing to do. If you really want to show love, let them be treated as how they should be treated as a human in their country. And if they want to come here, go through the process and be here legally because it's the right thing to do. Don't let them come in and stay and treat them like shit under the table. Third example I'll give is grab them by the pussy. It was said by Donald Trump and all these feminist groups came out and stirred things up, trying to make him lose the election. Yes, I agree it's very offensive, but I loved it. Why? Because it is the truth. If women these days actually behave like women and have the abilities to say, no, don't grab us by the pussy just because you're rich and famous. When we're looking for a guy, we're looking for their personality and quality. Then I will say, yep, he said something really, really bad and very disrespectful. But what he said was actually true. Women these days are not looking for good qualities in men. Because once someone that drives a better car, lives in a better house, and would strike loads of cash, and he wants to date you, you are more likely to be with a douchebag. 
you are not doing that because that kind of guy is not after you. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, the media is grabbing us by the nose and take us wherever they want to take us. And for you to believe and promote their idea without thinking to your friends just because it looks politically correct on Jimmy Kimmel's show or the late night show, it's just stupid. And all these celebrities want to join in and get more exposures. Hey, this is T.I. I want to say fuck you, Donald Trump, and what you stand for. Nobody supports me will support you. Shut up, T.I. I love your music, but why'd you say that? I mean, I think we have the right to think, right? And we have the abilities to think, right? Oof. Do I support Trump? Not really. Do I support Hillary? No. I did not vote on the last election because I don't know who to vote for. The media is really messing with our head. They're always trying to promote something that's trying to get people to watch it. What I'm saying is we should think before we act. And stop just trying to follow what media said or your friends said. Just because they're fast, not because they're correct. We need to stop believing fast information, just trying to be a part of a movement just because all of our friends are doing it. Because knowing the truth will help you make your decisions better. And maybe next time we'll have better candidates than Trump and Hillary's to vote for. Anyway, this is Mr. Nice Guy. Hope you enjoy my video. And I'll see you guys next time.